Hello Leo and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. All right, so yeah, first card out is an apology. That's coming out pretty strong. Whoever your person is, their energy is really strong. They're trying to think of a creative way to express themselves, okay? They know they've got to come towards you in a whole new way, a, a different way than ever before. I feel like this person knows they need to make it big. They need to make this apology a good one, right? Or they're not going to get, get another... Bleh, why can't I say that? They're not going to get another chance, all right? So... Um, they could be trying to plan something big or um, they're rehearsing their words, I feel like, too. They want your forgiveness. They may even, they know they may even have to beg a little. Okay, for real. Um, they're recognizing you as a deep level soulmate connection or a twin flame. Okay, um, this is a spiritual connection. It's very intense. I feel like this person's been reading up on twin flame connections or maybe they're out here watching a lot of tarot card readings about twin flames. Um, they're having this very surreal, like sudden realization kind of moment. Like, oh my gosh, they're talking about my story. Remember when, uh, for those of you who um, found tarot, when this person betrayed you, okay? Um, when, when, I, when I realized I was on a twin flame journey, it blew my mind. I remember I was in my hot tub. I was listening to a reading from Chanel Bader. Big shout out to Chanel Bader. She's highly respected in tarot land, okay? Um, but yeah, I was listening to one of her readings and it blew my mind. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's totally describing what I'm going through. She's describing my person to a T. She's describing my whole situation perfectly. It's one of those moments. No matter, no matter who you're, you're watching, tarot, like who are your favorites, right? The ones that really resonate with you, okay? When you found a reader that was resonating with your story, I'll bet your mind was blown too, wasn't it? Wasn't it? That's how this person is feeling, okay? Their mind is being blown away. They're, they're starting to learn about all the aspects, all the spiritual aspects of this connection, okay? So, so they're learning about manifestation. They're learning about the twin flame journey. They're learning about the connection of the soulmate, right? Uh, the soulmate connection, right? They're learning about um, the light workers, divine feminines, divine masculines, the 144,000. They're learning about their chakras um, and what happens when and what happens when there's a blockage, right? They're they're learning about um, spiritual warfare. And I mean, they're learning about the 5D. They're learning about their ancestors. They're learning. There's so much information that's flying at this person right now or things that they're digging into. And remember when you started this journey um, for whoever this is for, right? And you um, realized you were on a twin flame soulmate connection. What was your reaction? Weren't you like, oh my gosh, finally, I finally found somebody who understands what I'm going through. This is me to a T, but right? The reader was probably spot on. And, and it blew your mind. This is what they're going through. This is what they're going through. They're realizing the things that they've been manifesting in their life. This person could have been feeling a time of lack, right? Um, losing and getting their karma, all right? Um, they're watching what you're doing. They're seeing that you're actually an alchemist manifesting success, success through doing something that you're passionate about. Um, I feel like this journey has already brought you into a time of transformation, and they're watching this. They're realizing that's what manifestation is all about. Whatever 
um, whatever you're focused on is going to become your reality. So they see you in this, like, I want to say it feels like a ten of pentacle or nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles, empress kind of energy right now. Okay? Manifesting your dreams. Um, and they want to learn how to do this. So that's one of the things that they're digging into. Yeah, they're evaluating the whole thing. Okay? It says here, evaluation, feed out what doesn't serve you. Reevaluate the situation. Yes. And this person is realizing that all they've manifested with karmic individuals or a karmic lifestyle, it's brought them more of a karmic lifestyle. It's just brought them losses and struggles. Okay? They're trying to manifest you back in. And they're... They're l trying to learn how it is that you're accomplishing what you're accomplishing out here. <laughs> because I do see you very successful, abundant, um, and on a path, right? Uh, Spirit has you on a path that's, that's meant just for you. Um, you're doing something that you're very passionate about, something that you love to do. And the money is following, Okay. They're seeing this. Yeah, they're realizing that, look, and there's that sudden realization, right? That recognition of a twin flame connection. Duh. That, oh, they're like, duh. I've been in a twin flame connection this whole time. Yeah, it's, um, this ex whole experience, it triggered both of you. It triggered you to um, do your inner work, right? Heal from a lot and transform your whole entire life. They've watched it happen. And it's triggering this person to do the exact same thing. And the only way that you can reach this kind of success and this kind of completion to a cycle, right, is to learn about yourself, do that inner shadow work, and get closer to the divine and listen and allow yourself to be led. So um, that's, you're like 10 steps ahead of this person, um, but they are starting that process now with this tower moment, this sudden realization, okay? This is the divine pouring that spirituality into this person's mouth if they'll just open up and accept it, okay? This is also crying over spilled milk, realizing that they missed out on a true blessing here. I mean, this person, they're, they're going through a shocking moment, um, an aha moment, it's an, and a kick in the gut of what they, what they missed out on at all at the same time. So when I say this person may even feel like they need to beg for your forgiveness and they know they've got to make this, um, they've got to come at you like in a way that they've never shown before, I really truly do mean that. It's with a lot of intensity here, you know, and um, yeah, they're getting the message. They're learning the lessons. They're learning a lot, okay? Um, yeah, it's blowing their mind. It really is blowing their mind, but now they know what they missed out on. Yeah, look, they're having a lot of dreams, a lot of nightmares, um, a lot of sleepless nights. All of the information, too. Look at all the information. It's almost like this person lays awake at night spiritually, like in a spiritual sense, trying to put all the pieces together of everything that they're learning. Okay, they're getting a lot of heavy downloads. Um, overwhelmed with information to the point where they can't get any sleep. Okay, their mind is like racing at night, and during the day, they're feeling a lot of regret, okay? Yeah, this person is realizing here, this is a, the Six of Cups stands for a soulmate connection, a deep level past life soulmate connection. Now this person wants to apologize here, okay? They want to give you this love offer. They may not know how to approach you. They're... They're still in the process, right, of doing that inner work. You could be dealing with a hermit, 
or her a hermit. <laughs> you could be dealing with a Virgo. Sorry, I was reading the card, the hermit card. <laughs> they could be hermiting out. Like, I, I can feel that this person is kind of on shutdown mode right now. Oh, um, yeah, sorry about that. I was reading the card. Um, yeah, see, they're turning their back. I feel they're turning their back on a lot of people because they're so deep in thought over you, over the soulmate connection, all the information. Like, um, they're overwhelmed by information. Um, they're choosing a new path here, or they, they know what it is that they want, right? They're hoping for another opportunity, or maybe they're waiting for the right time. They certainly don't want to let you go, but who would want to let go of an empress? You know, you're single out here. Like I said, you've transformed your whole life. This is everything that I was talking about right here. Nine of Pentacles energy, doing something you're passionate about, watching it grow into a success, okay, and manifesting your dreams and a total transformation in your life. That's what this is, and they don't want to let you go. Yeah, they're very burdened. They, they don't know what to do. I feel like they've got to, they know they've got to do something big here, big, because this, this uh, door is closing. The door of opportunity is shutting. Um, I don't know. I'm feeling a lot of anxiety and panic off of this person. Uh, the, and every day that they wait to come forward with an apology, it gets harder and harder for this person to stay away. Um, yeah. The wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. They know this is also an opportunity, right? If you say no to this person, uh, I don't know if they'll, it, it will devastate them. I don't know if they'll be able to handle that. Like there won't, if, the, if this apology goes wrong, this is one of the burdens they're having. If this apology goes wrong, this is the most pain they'll ever feel in their life. Because now that they know what they know, right? If they had only known this before, you know what I'm saying? Because now it may be too late. Um, they've, they've had you in stagnancy for too long. And now you're way ahead of this person, energy-wise, um, success, effort, work. You're, you're ahead of them. So you may not take this person back, but here they come. They're about to take action and communicate with an empress. Okay? This wheel is turning now in your favor. A cycle is closing out, and this person is hoping to, like, skate in just in the nick of time. Like, that's what they're praying for. In the nick of time, right? Yeah, they have no idea. See, here's the thing. They don't, they have no idea how you're going to react to this um, because this person has betrayed you. They, they, they played you in the past. They know you don't trust them anymore. They know you've been standing here wanting the truth after they put a sword in your back, okay? They have no idea if you're going to accept them back, Wheel of Fortune, a new opportunity, or if they're going to get the Ten of Swords. Because you have every right to Ten of Swords, this person, really. I mean, this is a very painful ending that they could possibly have by um, coming back in. But they, they feel like they don't have much of a choice. It's either take some kind of action or lose the Empress. And I feel like they're, they're spying on you a lot. If you have something going on, um, like if you're doing, if you have a business or a craft online on the internet, you could have a platform or you could have your own website or maybe an internet store. I don't know. Um, this person is watching you and they're, they're, uh, they're trying to figure out if you're in an okay mood for them to come forward. Because if you're still in this Queen of Swords energy where you're, um, say you were angry, right? When this person betrayed you, you probably went through a lot of negative emotions. You know, sadness, trauma, anger.
frustration, confusion. If you're still in that energy, they'll have no chance. But I feel like you're very balanced in your emotions, okay? Um, you're thinking logically for yourself. You're really focused on you. So right now it feels like you don't have a whole lot of problems going on, you know? Your money looks good. You look good. You're feeling healthy, strong, confident. You're glowing here. You're beautiful. You know, so they, I, this person, maybe they, um, they're watching you, whatever you're posting on the Internet, to see if you're, um, if you're in a good enough mood to accept communication, okay? If you'll at least talk to them. You know, I feel like this person is scared. They're really worried about how this is going to play out because, man, you could accept them back or uh, and forgive them, right? Um, forgive them and take them back, or you could be telling them no, right? I feel like they, oh, boy. Yeah. And if this person is watching you and they're, because you're in the public eye doing something, possibly on the internet, attracting a lot of attention to yourself right now. People are loving what you're doing. They're loving your energy. They love to be around you. And I feel like you're attracting an emperor. Spirit showing this person. And you've got somebody that spirit is leading right to you. You're, look, you're a high value individual here. With the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, man, you know your worth. And you are ready for an emperor, somebody who's going to defend you, protect you, um, stand up for this connection. You know, what a great concept, right? Yeah, and I feel like this person is being shown somehow that you're moving on and you're about to get, look, on the bottom of the deck, ultimate wish fulfillment. You're moving on and you're about to get new love, an emperor that they'll never be able to compete with. This person's about to be replaced. And they're seeing that. Okay? They're jealous. They get jealous. They get envious. They maybe think that you're keeping um, somebody new a secret. Some of you could be moving to a new home. Uh, changing your location, okay, because we've got the Ten of Cups here. Some of you could be moving away, right? You're, you're upgrading because you know what? You're ready. <laughs> you, stagnancy, if you were to hold yourself back from all of this growth now, um, it, would, it would be painful for you. You can't remain in stagnancy. I feel like the universe wants you to move forward. They, they want you to be upgraded. Spirit wants to upgrade you in your life. Okay? And so you are. You're getting, I feel, a new home. You're getting a new boo, um, which is this emperor. Total upgrade. And there's nothing that this masculine can do to stop it. The only chance that they would possibly have now is communication. And I feel like this person, it, it took them really too long um, to realize uh, the extent of this connection, right? The impact of this connection. I mean, they avoided everything. Yeah, this person's going to be heartbroken if they find out you're with someone new. And they may think that you already are and keeping it a secret. Or this person could very well um, be watching a lot of tarot card readings or getting readings on you. They're finding this information out. And you're being led to, you know, just kind of like, you know, move forward, keep moving forward, right? Keep leveling up, keep upgrading, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you've got new love coming in. This person's about to have some kind of competition. If they don't get in here quickly, in the nick of time, you're going to move forward, and they're going to they're gonna have the fight of their lives trying to get you away from an emperor. That's just not going to happen. Okay? So, yeah, um, 
and they're feeling that they're feeling your disconnect they can sense that new love is entering into your life they can sense that you're moving away and leaving their life okay and it's driving this person nutty it is it's driving them nutty but here's the thing i feel like you are a divine feminine you could be a divine masculine take it how it resonates but i'm feeling feminine energy here earth angel energy this is truly a twin flame soulmate connection and this is the pull that this connection has right you start moving forward and they start wanting to take action okay and spirit is showing them too somehow in visions intuition whatever they're finding out through tarot um, they're showing them you're about to get new love that that blessing that they were given that they sniveled at before that blessings going to somebody new and this person's about to be replaced yeah anyway um let me that's what i have for this reading you guys you could be a, a sagittarius you could be a cancer pisces scorpio you could be an aquarius a taurus virgo capricorn taurus virgo capricorn heavy and virgo you could even be a libra gemini aquarius okay okay